while definitive completions are difficult to predict this far out, potential mega projects with major work planned or expected to finish in 2026, also expected to have significant milestones in 2026 as part of their multi year development plans. I know you're excited to learn more about the mega projects that will be completed in 2026. Like and watch the video until the end to learn more. Celtic Interconnector, Ireland slash France. The Celtic Interconnector cable will enable the exchange of 700 megawatt of electricity between Ireland and France, moving this electricity across a distance of 575 km, with 500 km of the cable running under the sea. This interconnector will have the capacity to supply electricity to 450,000 homes. The project is a key step on Ireland's energy journey to a low-carbon energy future. It will make an important contribution to shoring up Ireland's security of electricity supply by providing a direct link to continental Europe. Gordie Howe International Bridge is a transformative project connecting Windsor, Ontario, and Detroit, Michigan. The bridge will improve mobility and strengthen economic ties between Canada and the United States. The six-lane bridge will ease congestion at the busiest trade crossing between the two countries, while providing a direct modern link between the ports of entry. It also includes a dedicated path, part of the Trans-Canada Trail system, for pedestrians and cyclists. To minimize the environmental impact, the 2.5-kilometer span eliminates piers in the water and instead relies on a cable-stayed design. With a main span of 853 meters, this cable-stayed bridge will be the longest in North America and the fifth longest in the world. Doha Metro, Qatar. Qatar launched its long-term development plan. The Qatar Integrated Railway Project developed under the leadership of DB Engineering and Consulting will play a key role in this. The largest Qatar Integrated Railway Project subproject, the metro in Qatar's capital Doha, is a new, state-of-the-art mass transit system running largely underground. It is intended to make local public rail an attractive transportation option and to relieve the sprawling car traffic in Doha and the surrounding suburbs. In May 2019, the 40 km red line was put into operation, initially serving 13 of the total 18 stations. In November and December 2019, the 22 km green line, running from Al Mansura in the city center to Al Rifa in the west, and the 14 km gold line between Raspu Abud and Al Azizia were opened. The entire project will be completed in 2026. Matarburi Port Development Project, Bangladesh. With the development of the country's first deep sea port, there is little doubt that Bangladesh is undergoing economic transformation by strengthening its trade connectivity with the rest of the world. Currently, under construction, the Matarburi Deep Sea Port holds immense strategic significance for Bangladesh. It promises to uplift the majority of connectivity challenges by reducing transportation costs as well as the required time, thereby vastly improving Bangladesh's competitiveness in trade and greater efficiency in maritime trade, estimated to be completed by January 2027. The projected cost of the deep sea port is $1.5 billion. Ruper Nuclear Power Plant The Ruper Nuclear Power Plant will be equipped with two Russian VDER reactors, each with power generation capacity of 1,200 MW. The referential project for Ruper NPP is Novavarinis 2 NPP in Russia which is a unique new generation 3-plus power unit with a VDER-1200 reactor. Under the two units of the nuclear plant project, 2,400 megawatts of electricity will be generated. The electricity generated at the NPP will be transmitted through different parts of the country. Hopefully, the two units of Ruper NPP are expected to go into producing electricity in 2023 and 2024. This power plant is one of the most important projects of the Bangladesh government. It is being implemented under financial and technical assistance from Russia. Ruper NPP will play an important role in providing a stable baseload and ensuring energy security of the country. Ruper Nuclear Power Plant will be equipped with the latest generation of two VDR-1200 water-cooled and water-moderated power reactors of the AES-2006-V392M design. In the OM Bay Airport, an airport is an important component of modern world infrastructure. It works as a gateway between the countries and within the cities. Global air travel has become a common need in modern times with the constant growth around the world. Airports are a significant source of generating revenues. 
A new city like Neom requires an international airport, which will ensure swift access and mobility for citizens as well as foreign traffic. This airport will provide modern facilities to maximize passenger comfort and minimize security risks, with the special considerations to make it an international hub. NEOM International Airport will be the one of the largest airports in the world. It is expected to accommodate 20 million passengers by year 2030. The airport's design is pioneering and it is planned to incorporate smart city technologies and also function as a tourist destination.